Hi, hello! In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Actually, something very out of character for content that I ever thought I would upload on here. However, I actually have plans today. Wow, I have something very abnormal in my life. Social gatherings, hang out people. Anyway, I have an excuse to do my makeup, as you can see I've done. And I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna attempt at filming a tutorial of me doing so and yeah by no means am I a makeup artist or a beauty guru and I'm probably gonna say this a million times throughout this video however I figured you know what let's just attempt a makeup tutorial so yeah let's just get straight into it I'm not gonna lie to you, I have no idea how I'm gonna make it through this video because I just applied my BB cream right beforehand and I turned my fan off hoping I could go without it and I almost was cooked alive without exaggeration. So if you do hear some background noise, that is my fan and I do wish I could go without it, but there's only one way I'm gonna get through this video and that is by not dying from the heat. So we're starting off with, as I said, just BB cream. I'm just gonna put um, concealer and this is the part where I assess how much acne I currently have on my face. So I just do one dot in the corner, one on the outer corners, and then the rest is just purely how much acne I have. As you can see, there is a little by how many dots are on my face. You could literally play connect the dots with how much I cover my acne, it's great. I love it. I love how I'm like, I no longer wear foundation because you know, it's too thick for my skin and I want my acne to clear up and shit like that. So I wear BB cream instead. And then after I apply BB cream, I literally go in and apply what would basically be the equivalent of a whole nother layer of purely concealer. So really I'm not helping myself at all. Okay, now that my base is done, I can actually start getting into some of the fun things, like carving all the features back into my face now that I look like I built like a pancake. I start off with contour. Um, I just use these. God, this is so weird. I am the furthest thing you're gonna get from a beauty girl. God, I'm like actually sweating. I'm gonna have like brow sweat before I've even finished my entire video. I just take a bronzer and basically go and carve out my cheekbones my jawline, a little bit on my forehead, but not too much because I always somehow manage to screw it up and make it look muddy, and then my nose. I go pretty high up just because I like to make it look like my cheekbones are really high. I'm always scared whenever I apply bronzer and blush over my base because I'm always scared that somehow it's gonna take off my makeup underneath and all my acne is just gonna be revealed, but we are safe for now. Okay, so all the bronzer is done. You can see I got cheekbones, jawline, a little bit on the forehead and the nose. I know the nose looks a little funky, but like, hear me out, it has a purpose. Next, I will take blush. As you may notice, I place my blush really high up. I kind of put it right in the gap between my eye and the bronzer, just cause again, I like when my, jawline, not my jawline, the fuck, my cheekbones look snatched because unfortunately I'm not Bella Hadid and I cannot afford a ponytail lift. Okay, blush is done and I'm already looking way better than I did like two minutes ago. Now is the part where I basically fix up what is the nose situation. I only started doing those pretty recently. Um, which is nose contour. I've literally never touched nose contour in my life before, but I saw this girl doing this on TikTok. I thought it was genius because I could never follow any other nose contour tutorials before in my life, but this one works for me. So basically, as you saw with my bronzer, when I was doing everything, I basically went across and did the entire bridge of my nose. So it is completely brown now. Then basically what I do is I go ahead and take some concealer and I just do like one line there and then like a little dot and blend it. And Hear me out, this shit, it works. Wow. 
what can I say? Okay, so that's that for now. Trust me, when you apply highlight at the end, like, shit looks incredible. But for now, I am going to move on to doing my brows and my eyes. Brows, I'm going to be real with you. I don't really do a lot. I just take a spoolie with soap on it and I just brush through them. Okay, that is brows done. <laughs> now, finally, time for eyeliner, which is by far my favorite part. Literally makes me go from a zero to a 10. I am not a beauty guru by any stretch at all, so I have no idea how I'm gonna make this helpful at all, but I will try. But I actually don't use liquid eyeliner, I use eyeshadow. I would use liquid eyeliner if it actually liked me, but for some reason they dry out the minute I buy them. So I just gave up and I use eyeshadow. But I just use a really dark brown eyeshadow and basically, okay, how do I do this? I start off by drawing a line that goes from directly, off, I just poke myself in the eye, I'm so useless. Okay, that goes from my inner corner and points out as though it were going to touch the outer point of my eyebrow. So it will go like that. Then I draw a line from there that connects back to my eye, fill that in, and then clean that up a fuck ton with concealer as you'll probably see. <laughs> Alright, that is our first wing. That actually took a lot less time than I thought it would, surprisingly. I am gonna do the second one off camera because we're not even gonna attempt doing the other one here. Finally, to finish off my eyeliner, I'm just gonna do the inner corners. And now is the time where I decide if I want to do either mascara or false lashes. Now, normally I would do just mascara, but because I've come this far, fuck it, I'm gonna do false lashes as well. The way that I place my false lashes is when I have eyeliner that is this thick and this dark, I can kind of get away with placing it kind of off my actual lash line in order to get that kind of cat eye look, which I personally really like, or the fox eye look. Damn, look at me, talking like I know what I'm doing. I really don't, I just wing this shit every day. So anyway, I will put the lash, instead of putting it like right there, I will kind of move it across and put it about like there, if that makes sense. Now lashes are on, I'm going to put mascara up a little bit to bomb my lashes and then some of my lower lashes. Alright kids, strap and tie, we're almost at the finish line. So. All there is left now that I do is my lips, a little bit of freckles and highlight. I used to like never line my lips until one day I did and now I'm addicted to it. I mean, again, I can't afford lip injections, so this is really all I can do. I just overline like all of it. And then I also overline my Cupid's bow, which is just a personal preference, but I like my lips without it. Wow, look, she has lips now. Also, I don't know if anyone is curious, but if you are, the lipstick is the Burt's Bees in 501. And then this one, I would tell you if it wasn't a stub with no writing on it now, but it is one of the Rimmel Lasting Finish lip liners. Um, color? No idea. 903 Nude. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight. Also, look how cute. My friend got me this from Korea, so I could not tell you what this is, but I'm sure people just by looking at it would probably recognize it. It says Line Friends. Oh, Misha Velvet Light Color Stick.
And yeah, that's it. That's the final step. I'm assuming I'm probably like, oh fuck, thank God. I don't know how much more she's gonna do with her face, which I mean, respectable. I do a lot. There is a lot that needs to be tended to. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video or it just helped you in some way. I mean, I say that, it's definitely not gonna help anyone in any way, what the fuck. Yeah, I am currently cooking in my room right now. I did turn on the fan, which I tried to avoid at the beginning, as I said, but like I literally was gonna turn into a rotisserie chicken if I didn't. Despite that, I think my room is probably about 30 degrees right now. So I respectfully am going to head out, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.